Hi. So I've officially uh, finished up, minus the paint, uh, the Razor electric to gas conversion uh, little project I've been working on for my son. Um, so I'll kind of get into it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did. I took the uh, 79cc Predator. Okay, I mounted it in there. Um, there needed to be some modifications. So, well, I don't know if you can see this, but what I did, I can see now the fender's actually hitting that, but what I did was I brought, I brought the frame down a little bit closer to the tire, that way the engine would fit, and then I bolted the engine to the existing plate that was already there. All right, so then I brought this out, and uh, you know, what happens is the razors, um, they come through the sprocket on the other side, because the electric motors that they use are... Uh, their rever reverse rotation with a gas motor. So makes the job a little more challenging, um, but not too bad. So what I did was I took a, uh, these, these are called pillow bearings. They can be had at uh, Amazon for about five bucks a piece. Uh, I don't know how long they'll last. Um, the other thing, uh, this what this does is reverses the direction of the drive. Uh, so those this was like, this was a pretty decent project. Um, I learned a lot about gearing and such. I had the original gear on the back that was way too small and it wouldn't go anywhere. So I ordered this this year from uh, Amazon. It's the biggest, uh, f the, the largest sprocket that I could find with that size chain. So take a little walk around. Um, I put the gas tank on the top here. It's not the best looking thing, but you know what? Just for for ripping, for ripping around, it looks pretty good. Here's the box, Harbor Freight box. Uh, I got it on sale. I think it was a hundred bucks. Um, so there's the motor sitting in there. Okay, we'll go underneath. Okay, it's mounted. Um, and what happened was, you know, I left all the, the the brakes and everything. But what happened is, the exhaust is actually popping right under there. It does not heat up enough to melt that plastic, as you might think. Um, the chain. Uh, was pretty exposed, so I had an old snow blower. I took some sheet metal from it and I just welded myself and put a little bracket. Uh, welded myself a little chain guard here. Okay, that's kind of nice. I can take it off if I need to. Um, and you're probably wondering about the chain adjustment. Uh, well, I put made it so the bolts on the engine actually uh, have a little groove where the engine can slide forward a little bit when this belt becomes uh, a little bit too loose. Uh, so, the one thing I noticed while I was riding this thing, I tried it, I'm 200 plus pounds, is that the it, it flexed too much and the chain, the little chain would fall off every time I went over a bump. And uh, that wasn't working too well for me. I, mean, I could go on a straightaway. But if you're light, if you're 100, 100, 100 to 150 pounds, this bike is just fine. Now, probably wondering how I did the... Uh, the uh, throttle, okay, I literally used the existing stuff. Okay, first of all, I took a spring, hooked it up to a bolt, a random bolt up there. Okay, I bolted this piece on, and what happens is I twisted, I don't know if you can see inside there, but I twisted this throttle lever so this would be perpendicular to this deal. So now I can go up here and turn this throttle, which was about 12 bucks. I can turn that throttle, and you can see, okay, that thing's pulling. Now, if you're probably wondering, um, yes, I did take the governor out of this motor. Um, I do not like the way the governors restrict these things. Um, you know, and uh, the governor's out. That was a pretty easy job. It took about 15 minutes. You could probably research that. But, yeah, there it is. There it is. Um, yeah, I'll try to start it for you. See if we can get it started. Turn it on. Yeah, that's about it. I'll uh, sign off for now, but there's the Razor 500 with the motor on it. 
uh, not too torquey. It's actually perfect for a kid learning. And uh, yeah, it was fun.